Welcome everyone back to my channel. Today's gonna be something different, actually very different. I am attempting to make a cigar purse for the very first time. I've never done this before, and um, I have everything sitting out that I'm going to use, and I just thought it'd be fun, it would hopefully be a fun video to make. So anyway, I've never done one before, like I said. Um, I'm using the cigar box that I picked up um, from a local cigar place. They sell these for like a dollar each when they're done with them. They always have like a pile. And this box I especially love because of the color and the picture is just really cool. It's really edgy. So um, I have my instructions inside. I had, had to plan out how I was going to do the video and how I was going to make this. I've seen a lot of people make these. And um, so hopefully I can manage this today. This is just going to be a slow, a slow run. But this is the material that I got for the inside. I'm just going to line part of the inside. And I got this really fun material at Joanne Fabrics. The material is like, it's actually kind of satiny. I didn't realize that uh, when I was looking at it online and then when I went to buy it, I realized that it was. So I'm not sure how this is going to work because what I'm going to do is cut out a piece of this and glue it on the inside of here. And um, I'm not sure how it's going to work with the glue going through. I'm using fabric glue to glue it in. I was thinking of using wood glue, but wood glue dries very, very yellow. So I might not worry about the wood glue, so hopefully this works well. These are some of the things that I got for the project. I got these at Hobby Lobby. These little wood pins, or no, sorry, not wood pins. Well, pins I'm gonna put in wood. Antique breasts, plated, decorative tacks. So I got those. Those I'm gonna stick for the bottom, for the bottom feet. So this is gonna be the bottom. So when you put your purse up, I don't want it like scratching the bottom. So I'm gonna put in like little middle tacks on each corner. And then I got, these hinges because fortunately this one didn't come with hardware which I'm glad because I would have had to rip it off and throw it away probably um, so I got these on the bottom and then I also got these nice little clasps actually let me zoom in here a little bit better so you can see again this is all Hobby Lobby so that's gonna go on the top so that'll have a clasp so you can close it properly and while I have it zoomed in let's go ahead and show the tacks as well um, they're decorative they're really pretty I like the way they look and then let's also do nothing that the hinges matter you've all seen the hinge i'm sure but they all kind of match the um patina the color of the, all the metal roughly goes together so i thought that was kind of cool and then i have this really cool i had this idea since i'm kind of going for the um the edgy look i got these really cute skull beads let's see if i can zoom in properly i don't know how well my light's going to cooperate with me but I got these off of eBay. I think they had them on Etsy, and they had actually black skulls at sorry at um, Michaels. But they looked angry, and I didn't want angry skulls. I wanted like nonchalant, melancholy, somewhat happy skulls. You know, they have to be thrilled, but you know, kind of kind of cutesy. So it's not like total like too dark. But anyway, I thought these were really fun. They're actually smaller than I thought they were going to be, unfortunately. But they're the biggest ones I could find. And again, I do love them. They feel like stone. I'm honestly not sure what they're made out of. They feel cool to the hand. They have weight to them. But I figured for that, let me just zoom out one second, one second, sorry. When I first got them, I thought I didn't order enough for the handle, but I actually think it's gonna work. I'm actually gonna attach them by wire. I'm gonna have to um, drill holes in the top. It'll be like a little top handle, kind of like that. So anyway, the first, first part is just kind of showing you the materials I'm all gonna use. And I'll show you kind of step-by-step step what I do. I'm probably going to do the work off-camera just because it's going to be easier for me to focus. But then as I do each step, then I'll come back and show you. And we'll go from there. I'm happy with how it glued in really well and smoothly. So it's got its flaws, but overall, it's pretty cool. So the next bit is I need to um, get my hinges on here. And I was kind of concerned because let me see if I can quick show you. <clears throat> As you can see, it's got this lip and the lid goes over the lip and the lid needs to have the hinges so if i put the hinges here the little screws are going to go through and the lid part isn't terribly thick as you can see but i think sorry it's a little fuzzy my concern is it going through as it goes through the bottom and up here i'm afraid it's going to come through and into here but i was looking at the screws the other day and holding them up to this and i don't think it's going to i think it's going to be really close it's going to be really close. I'm just going to put it together and see how it looks when I'm done. So the next bit is basically just to get the hinges placed on the top here, set them on top, mark it with a pen, and then drill the holes and then get the screws in. So I think the next bit I show you, I'll have the hinges on, or maybe I'll like kind of show you partly how I do it. 
Um, but that's, that's what's next. So Josh actually had a good idea with doing the hinges because I was trying to put these darn things on and they kept slipping and sliding around. And Josh suggested putting tape on them just to hold them and actually put a piece of tape on the box itself because the, the top kept opening. So I measured them about roughly an inch from the sides and then I'm just going to take a little knife and just put a little hole through the tape and, and then make the marks with the pen and then drill the holes. So that was actually a really good idea because these stupid things were not staying still. And Josh also made a good point in saying making sure the hinges were straight across because if they're at all like wonky, like not straight in line with the angle of the box, they could, like when you open it, it won't open right. So that's a good idea. Okay, on to make the holes and to drill the holes. Okay, I just got the hinges on and I drilled the holes for the screws and I didn't drill all the way in. Um, Josh said it probably wouldn't be a good idea to do that. Oh, it's not really focused. Let me focus here. So anyway, got them in, and I'm going to see if the box opens well. So hopefully it does, and hopefully the screws didn't go through the top lid into the lip of the box. If it did, this might be the end of the video because it will open. I think it's going to. <gasps> Yay! Oh, it went really well. Oh, and you can see the screws a little bit, but that's actually okay. It's barely, barely, barely. You can see that. They barely made an, an appearance. That's okay. That doesn't bother me. And it doesn't even look like it made a dent into the, oops, the lip of the box. So that's good. Yay. Okay, I'm so excited about that. That worked out really, really well. Okay, so I just wanted to quick show the one half piece that I cut. The reason that I cut a little extra here is after I made this template, I realized I wanted the whole side of the box. Let me show you what I mean. I want this whole side here to be covered. So when this goes in here, this is going to potentially cover the whole side. And then this part up here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This part up here will be attached to the lid. Um, so I had to use my template. I, I um, put pins in it and I, I just cut that. And then what I'm going to do, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a hard time with this, um, I'm not 100% okay with it, but to me it's the best option for now since I don't feel like hand sewing and I don't have a sewing machine. What I'm going to do is take this piece of material and I'm going to glue it together. As you can see, I folded it over and it's one big piece now. So this nice folded part is going to be what's showing. So when this is here, um, this will be nice and folded over. So that's the idea. Um, I wanted to make sure that these two pieces didn't come apart when you go to fold it, they don't like buckle or, or crinkle. So if I glue them both together with some fabric glue, it'll be one solid piece and it'll probably be on the stiff side, but I'm okay with that. So, okay, I just wanna quick show this bit. I know it's drying and it's not as finished as I said it was gonna be. I wanna have both pieces on, but I just wanted to show how it turned out like I ha or how I'm doing it. So I just glued this piece and you can see the glue is still wet. I'm just using the fabric glue. Um, right now I'm trying not to move it at all because it needs to set. So this has been glued in and this has been glued in. So I, I know the, the lights behind the box is a little bit harder to see, but you get the idea of, of how I'm doing the slides. Um, so what I did was, this is actually one piece I folded in half and then I put a thin layer of fabric glue on it, folded them in half, made them as even as possible. And then I actually folded them in this um, parchment paper and then put books on top and weights. That's why I have these sitting <laughs> um, just to hold them down. They sat for a few hours, probably like five hours. So they're pretty dry. The, the corners were a tad wet just because the glue had kind of like um, collected there. So, but it turned out really well. Like it's actually pretty flexible still. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So um, I really like that side of the hand. It looks so cool. Okay guys, it's the next morning and um, unfortunately this didn't turn out the way I was planning it to go. So maybe some of you realized that this was, <laughs> saw what I was doing and realized it wasn't going to work. I didn't realize it wasn't going to work until I went to put it back together. Um, so this lip literally tucks in right oops, against this. So the material is in the way. So I'm going to go close it. It doesn't want to close. So what I should have done, the trial and error, <laughs> I should have glued it up here instead of on the side. So <laughs> the next one, I'm gonna try to, to do that on this side. And then I'm going to attempt to peel this off the side 
and some I'll glue it to the top. It probably won't look as nice. See, oh, but it looks great. Um, it worked out really well. Um, I'm happy with it, the way it looks, but unfortunately it won't close. I was hoping that maybe I could just cut this top corner piece because if you can kind of tell, it's a little bit long. So um, I just kind of tucked it in, in the corner there. Oh, stop. Um, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Like I, th that piece of wood literally has to slide in right where this material is and then switch it. it's already in here. And this is two layers of material, and then when it closes, it's gonna fold in, so it's gonna be like four layers of material with glue. There's no way that this little wood piece is gonna be able to tuck into the top. So I have to redo this, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> but so it goes, this is how we learn. Okay, so I'm so far off the beaten track here. I'm not even going by my <laughs> original videoing scheduling because of how I've had to change this. So, um, yeah. The the little flaps now or or flat, side flaps, excuse me, are glued to the top lid. Even though it's kind of upside down right now, upside down right now. Sorry, I'm talking kind of fast here. But you can see there's a gap right in here. So hopefully, big room for these wood thing. Oops, these things to go in once it closes. Um, so I had both bottom sides in went in really well. I like the way it looks on the inside for the most part. Again, for the first time am I doing something like this? Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, again, it's it's all touch and go. It's just figuring it out as I go. Um, and my son was asking me if this is something I'm going to make and sell. I'm like, eh, definitely not the first one. I don't see this one being sellable. Sellable. Whatever. Um, just, it's going to be a little rough. But I have the little flaps glued down. I probably could have could have used bigger pieces of material, but I wanted to use the side pieces I already cut out. So I have as much as I can, much of the materials I can glue to the top. And then what I might do, is I really want the scorpion part like showing. Um, I really like this. I want this to be, you know, you can see it. What I might end up doing is just because I really do not trust these little side panels on the I can't point to it, but what's under the salt pepper shakers. I honestly don't trust them to fully hold. So what I might end up doing is either getting some more pieces of this material, like little strips, and um, gluing it across the top and attaching it to little corners, and then some down here, like another piece of crust, or I do have some ribbon. So maybe I'll just do some ribbon and kind of like cover the edges here. <laughs> okay, take two. I tried to film this just now and the lighting was so bad, I didn't realize it until filming like a minute in, so let's redo this. Um, so yeah, everything glued really well. I'm really happy with this and I have to confess, I already checked this morning before I checked in with you guys. This does close nicely. Really, really happy with that. So no issues with that. And this morning I also got the little metal feet put in. I basically had to chop these down though because the pins themselves, I don't have one handy to show you, are really long so it would have gone through the box and would have punctured through the material. So I had to cut the tack part like in half basically and then I used my drill, kind of measured roughly how long the tack was and I didn't want to um, go too far so basically I used painter tape just to get the uh, how long the um, attack was. So I don't know, it's gonna let me focus. Earlier it wasn't letting me, but I thought it was a light, but maybe it's just cause it's so, no, that doesn't wanna work. All right, well, you get, the... oh, there it goes. Oh, there was a brief moment there, it focused. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea, you get the idea. I drilled a hole that wasn't too deep. Um, so I got these in. So it stands up nicely on the bottom. So that's good. The bottom isn't gonna get scratched and it's not gonna sit on the hinges and make it wobbly. So that's good. Uh, this one, they're not exactly perfect. I'm pretty happy with it though. This one was too far to the edge and it's kind of hanging over. So I had to drill a second hole. So it's covering the first hole. So I'm hoping that that stays. I thought I was going to have to glue them in, but fortunately the drill bit was so small, I was able to just shove in the little tacks. So almost done, so close to the end, I'm so excited. So basically all I need to do then is do the handle and the clasp and then we'll be all done. So let's go ahead and get that finished and then I'll come back to you with hopefully a finished and complete cigar box purse. 
Okay, everybody, it's completely done. I'm so excited. It was quite the project, but I'm really glad that I finally finished it and I'm really happy with it. The only thing is, the whole time I was doing this, I completely forgot about the back. So there's absolutely nothing on it. Um, but I do have a plan of maybe finding a skull stencil or like a scorpion stencil, something along those lines and kind of doing some dark wood stain over the stencil, like having like dark wood stain skull or whatever and then coating the back with polyurethane. So I might end up doing that, I'm not sure yet, but it turned out really, really well. Um, the top clasp isn't terribly even, um, but it's fine, it works. I'm really happy with the handle, that went on really, really well. I had to fiddle around a little bit with the wire. Let's see if I can show you here. One second, let's get stuck, I kinda need two hands. One second. This is really hard to do when you're trying to film. Eh. All right, one second, pause. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was really stuck. If nothing else, if the clasp doesn't hold together, it's a snug fit, so that's a good thing. So I used some ribbon for the top pieces of material, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's not the original plan, but it doesn't look half bad. And the wire on the inside, um, that was that was challenging because, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so it's a little bit more clear. That was a bugger. I used a glass bead and I kind of wrapped the wire around that. It doesn't look that great from the inside. Oops, sorry, sorry. So I tried to get it as tight as I could so that the beads and the handle were not, let me zoom out. So they were not like all loose and stuff. So for the most part, I think it actually holds really, really well. I'm really happy with that. So the, um, the, overall, the overall cigar box purse turned out really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. I would love to make another one of these now that I've had the experience. Um, the, um, the handle, I would actually move a little further to the front. I have it kind of in the middle of the wide part. I would like a little bit closer, oops, sorry, a little closer to the front. So a little bit more in line with this original top clasp where it's like screwed in. But again, it works, it's fine. Like it carries well and it's really small. Like this little cigar box, like it didn't seem that small when I was putting it together. But now that I have it finished, it's like, it's quite small Let me go over here so you can see the light better. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. I'm happy with it. So I would love to make another one. I actually found some really cool material at uh, Joanne Fabrics. Oh, was it last week or the week before? And um, I might grab some of that material and do another box. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is a really, really fun project to do, and hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.